one night in February of 1999, I get a call from my good friend DJ Sandra Collins, who asks me, uh, can you come see me you know, tomorrow night in Reseda, where I'm playing? Reseda's in the San Fernando Valley here in Los Angeles. And I said, sure, absolutely, I'll be there. You know, anything to support a friend, of course. So, fast forward to the gig, uh, I show up, Sandra shows up, goes on at midnight, plays a great two-hour set, as was usual for her. And uh, she wraps up, and now we're all standing around in the parking lot, hanging out. And then suddenly this limo pulls up. And who gets out of the limo but superstar DJ Kiyoki. And, uh, but he didn't come there because he wanted to spin. No, 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 no. He came because he had a plan. And that plan basically sort of involved kidnapping us and spiriting us away back to his artist complex in downtown L.A. Um, well, to be honest, we really didn't find him that hard because, <laughs> well, he plied us with whiskey and promises of a good time. <laughs> so, so anyway, we all get down to his uh, place in downtown. It's like this big warehouse rabbit warren of an artist complex. There are all these rooms going all over the place and they're filled with Kiyoki's uh, musical equipment and gear and his art, his paintings and stuff. And one of his walls was completely covered with his stream of consciousness, you know, type of poetry. And um, anyway, we all start getting, um, shall we say, very silly. And uh, Kiyoki says, you know, dude, you know, get out your gear, start shooting. And I look at him and I, and I ask him, are you sure you want me to do this? I mean, this is your lair, you know? And he just gives me a big smile and he says, don't worry about it, man. I trust you. And of course, for me, that's like, bingo! So, <laughs> so the gear came out. We did a great uh, impromptu photo shoot there. Uh, and the party just kept going on and on and on. And I think I got out of there at about one or two the following afternoon. <laughs> And uh, that's what behind the scenes is like sometimes. <laughs>